Welcome, welcome everyone to um you mean Neko? It's the feeling going to be very fucking confused, but you know, you know, that's fine. Fine. I might know things about this. There's also a good chance I don't know anything at all. <laughs> Hi Darkbit. <laughs> Why are you gonna be here with me, Chief? Hi, Gary. Hi, Glips. Total War, you mean Echo sounded way more interesting. <laughs> look, look, that'd be prop. That probably is a mod somewhere out there, but fuck if I know where it would be. Remember, I got this like a shit. Tongue kind of time ago now, and I played like maybe five minutes of it and stopped because I don't know, I'm a weirdo. Yumi Nako no Naku Koroni. Oh, trophies. I just noticed that. Option changer. Change the set. Uh, yeah. I had to change the option. Oh. Okay. Hello, cow. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Rakenjima. Be in the game. Spend the games. Now it's be zoomed from here. This episode is locked. Okay. Why does the title make this game look like a discount Higurashi? Because this is made by the same people who did Higurashi. So. Mm. You think you have some of the Higurashi from Home One or something? You kind of look completely lost interest when you're learning the Kinect novels, to be honest. I guess same for me, which is why I kind of wanted to try this, because, you know, the story is undoubtedly nothing more than fancy. You cannot possibly have any relation to real persons, organizations, places, or events. Why do I feel like I just got mocked? Mato. Oh, hello, Shai. Yo, you've been nudging in alcohol again, haven't you? The old tradition let our size remove the stethoscope. Feodary men could be seen in the dimly lit study, which is filled with dust and a sickly sweet stench. In the corner of the room, which was much larger than what most people would call a study, there was an extensive looking bed, a man undergoing metal examination, and a physician conducting it. There was also what appeared to be a servant watching over, okay, the Yumi Neko part here kind of makes that a bit hard to read, uh, over the whole scene. Haro is my friend. Hi, Rush. There's no less of him than you, and has stood by my side even longer than you have. The man who had bared his chest for the stethoscope spoke unapologetically as he strained out his clothes. Kinzo-san. Kinzo-san. Body only appears to be well thanks to the effects of the medicine. Have I played Toho Artificial Dreams? Yes, I beat that game, Gary. Loved it. Great. However, if you continue to drink such wrong spirits, you may become meaningless. Do I access the option? Yeah? Nope. Trust my judgment. Temper your drinking. Uh, I thank you, I come only for the second. My friend. Genji. Genji. Another glass. Water down slightly. That way Nanjo can save face. Why isn't there a Total War Toho? I think there's a fucking Toho mod for whatever the chivalry shit. Are you quite sure, sir? If I am both the master demand the outcome, as doctor forbade it. Genji, the old butler, finally gave us light non and carried out his master's orders faithfully. Not 
Nanjo, the man's personal doctor, let out a deep sigh once again as he watched the butler busy himself along the liquor ca cabinet. You meant Mountain Blade? There you go, yep, that's the thing. You just looked up Dungeon Crawler fan game memes? Yes. Quite cool. And it is a love letter to Shin Megami Tensei. Very cool. There was a smell filling up the room. This sweet, poisonous aroma felt as though it melted the heart, but not the soul itself. It was the smell of that venomous green drink that the man couldn't bring himself apart from. Nanjo. What alcohol is fucking green? Nanjo? My close friend for many years. I may be grateful for all that you have done to keep me alive this long. I may be grateful for all I, I have done nothing. That's, really? You know that, Rush. Interesting. I don't ever lose my vice position. You're not the only one you want to say, Chess. I'm saying Chess move you're about to make. Actually, are you? My lord? Thank you. Well, I died if you ran out of your medicine, but I wouldn't have ran out of this. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to die. One eye on Anjo, who had his face set in a resigned expression. Kinzo took the glass again, so he was holding out to him. You set it on fire. Oh yeah, I forgot that's something people did. There are, per there are probably very few people who would associate the venice color, which filled the glass with an alcoholic beverage. Nanjo. Nanjo. He drained through a slot spoon with a sugar cube. What? Be honest with me. How much time do I have left? Sake. Oh, now. How short must I make it to get you to stop drinking? Anjo once again allowed a sigh of resignation. As he watched Kinzo down the glass regardless, he spoke. You don't have much time. What precisely do you mean by that? Let us illustrate it with a chess game here. Closing out the game quite well, but I don't always see you cornering my king. That's an interesting comparison. Nanjo's gaze was directed to the side table with a stately chess set placed on top of it. Ooh! Okay, it looks like someone castled. Okay. Wait, both sides castled? No, 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 no. Both sides didn't castle. Uh, move the rook up to try and capture the other rook, I guess? Uh, no. What would... Now I'm trying to analyze this chess game. Nope, stop. With my decision with each, the match was well sent to the end game. Yeah, of course. The Black Rook and Bishop were cutting deeply into the enemy's line. White King had already been castled and cornered, so that even Amsha could see that the match result is conclusion before long. Every time Nanjo came to give a medical examination, both of them would make a few moves. Nanjo was sitting with calm sense, Kinzo would most likely fall into his internal sleep before this game could be concluded. Oh. That's weird. So wait, are you taking like months off between the turns for this game? Fucking insane. It, these were less the words of a physician than they were the words of an old friend. Were you a normal patient? I would recommend you right away at this point. I've played chess! Shut! No, it's a will, Nanjo. This my mail or only when they visit or something. Some chess nerd. Fuck you. Fake fan? Don't call me a fake fan of chess. I ran instructions to the vultures on a devour and scattered my corpse. Yeah. 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 No, not at all. As I suggested, it's a way for you to record your will for later generations. It is far more than just a means of it, but dub your inheritance. I know what the fuck Deep Blue is, shut the fuck up. 
No. Some bump I'm part of the call mission of Yarns when I write of. You can call everyone a bitch at your funeral after you're dead. Mm -hmm. I like the sound of that. Oh, uh, his regrets? Now he's left unfinished. Can't wait for me to make a conspiracy board for you mean Echo? I, I read about this fucking years back, so I have... I am in between knowing what the fuck happens and between thinking most of what I remember is fucking dreams because I'd like I don't know the context. What the fuck would that mean? Is that even real? Things you wanna pass on and things you wanna tell. Anything you want. Hmm. <sighs> Things I want to pass down, things I want to tell. <laughs> Ridiculous. I, Ushiro Mia Kinzo, not one thing I want to tell or leave behind. I'm getting serious, Boris. Sleepy Steam Server has got to be the strangest game series you've ever seen. Yeah, last week we we're fucking rat people. Now we're fucking watching an old man talk about not wanting to leave behind Will. I was born with nothing. I will die with nothing. Something was to lead to my foolish children. Even if the end were to come today, the words come right now. I shall accept the fate of death without a trace of fear. Kinzo-san? I've been reading a bunch of Umi Neko spoilers recently, and by recently, in the last six months, so you can't really remember any of them, to be honest. For some reason, my ability to raise pocket led the orcs and humans to go to war. <laughs> look, that... Uh, no, look, it wasn't deliberate. I created everything. My fortune. My prestige. Everything! Those are built up by me. They'll be lost along with me. There's nothing I wish to leave behind. Nothing! For God, no care it all goes to waste. You know, Andy Moore over pockets, brain down, draws a baseball as a sand. Into a shoujo style billboard rap. <laughs> I desire no tomb, no coffin. Oh, hi, God be holy shit, BB Yumi Neko? Yes! Honestly, I almost want to do this more than Super Robot Wars 30. Because this one I know is like fucking. This, this story is prime for theory making. Those are the terms they come made with the witch! What? Rondo the witch reasoning? Okay, I guess it's that witch. When I die, everything will be lost! That has been part of the promises of the beginning. That's why nothing will be left behind. There is nothing I can leave behind! This is gonna edit a novel, maybe you like it better because you know it will eventually end. I also know it's bigger than the Bible, which is a bit of a something. I think it might be like two Bibles big. After reaching a furious crescendo, Kinzo suddenly slumped over. His expression was limp and feeble. His own evil spirit had possessed him and then left. <sighs> However, I do have one regret. I mean, you read all the text on every Trios game. It's not really that bad. It's bigger than the vibe, so new over the end. I feel called out. I'm behind, but there's one thing. I cannot leave undone. Would do well to write it down, then? Of course, it would be best if you could finish before your time comes. However, even if the worst happens, those will come after you will. After you will carry to completion. Let's look behind your regrets so they can resolve even if you're unable to do so yourself. 
それが遺言というものです。そのネックレスを持つ。Nanjo tried to gently pat Kinzo's shoulder. Dai Man flew into the sun rage and batted away Nanjo's hand. That is no good, no good, no good! I can't do voice acting. You know how the Yumi Neko stuff is now? It used to be pretty bad in quality in moderation. I must be done while I still live. The moment my death, my soul will be devoured by the demons of c o n t r a b a n d wiped from existence. For me, there will be no peace or another world after death. Does the old man have schizophrenia or fucking something? What the fuck? Listen to the lion's voice. Tap on it with one finger. Let, well, I'm. Do I fucking open this up? Have it with three fingers. How the fuck did I do that? Tap with one finger? What the fuck? I don't know! How the fuck did I even do that? That's why everything must be done before I go! That's why a will has no meaning to me. I had the time to write such a thing. You know what? I, I just did. I had such time to spare. I d want to see it. I want to see it one more time. I want to see creatures with smiling faces one last time. I wonder if this is gonna be a Rosewood situation where, like, the identity of Beatrice is fucking important. I return everything you have given me right this very moment. I'm prepared to lose everything. Please, show me your smile just one more time. Beatrice, I beg you, I do you this final plea. That's the kind of woman you are. I beg of you, show yourself to me. You're here, aren't you? You're standing there. There's more. Listen to every word I say. Now you're mocking from somewhere in this room, aren't you? This version is actually a fan remake of the PS3 version. Ah, so that's where I got this one from. <laughs> Please, do me before, before me one more time and smile. Please go me. And stop throwing my life by your own hands if you wish. I don't want to die alone like this. His friend sitting there. Oh, wow, thank you, Kinzo. Guess. Like, hmm, guess our friendship really was worth that much. Fuck you. Again, I can't let myself die because you smile just one more time. Ah, Beatrice! Beatrice! Ah, Beatrice, Beatrice! Uh, okay, there was an error. And it fucking crashed. No! Oh shit. No. Uh, okay. Hold on a fucking second. I can probably get past this if I just. Uh, where the fuck? Okay, I can turn the fucker off. Okay, okay. So I can probably get past that if I just.
Uh, is the game not being captured right now? The fuck? Why won't the game be captured right now? Capture the fucking game! There we fucking go. Okay, so if I don't have you talking, Kinzo, is everything going to be fine? Kinzo, you're not allowed to talk because if you do, you're fucking going to crash the game. Everyone else can talk, but I... Okay, I don't know how to... I don't want to skip any lines, so I'm just going to... So everyone else can talk, but Kinzo is just communicating with his mind now. Great, great, lovely. I was really liking his voice acting too, but... Aha! I don't know how to fucking open up this part. Good, I can create saves now. Uh, perfect. Okay. Oh, scream about Beatrice. Beatrice, 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 Beatrice. What? Oh, fuck's sake. What do you mean you fucking crashed again? God fucking damn it. What do you mean you see an unsupported? Fuck, I gotta look this up now. Great. Time to troubleshoot. Fuck it now. Uh, kill me. Uh, give me Neko. Crash. End of chapter, FAQ, 7th mod, okay. Okay, fuck, I think I can trade this out. Uh, let's try this again. Yeah. Okay, uh, fuck. Start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should still have a save here. So. Yeah, yeah, stop looking at me. Stop telling me about this shit. Come on. Okay. Uh, load? Yes, it does work. Cool. What the fuck? Okay, if I just try skipping. Ah, that worked! Ha-ha! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god, okay. Okay, so I figure, so we might have to do that a couple times then. Got it, fine, fuck. Butterfly, fly above. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, there's so many characters. Hey? What, why the fuck is it, is there singing? What, what was that a fucking demon pillar from Fake Go? What the fuck, okay. Uh, it looks like there might be a bit of magic. Like, oh, guns. I... This is... I feel like this game is begging me to conspiracy about it. Great, okay. Holy shit, I really want to play this more now. After this day, great. Oh fuck, this is just begging to get conspiracy. Oh no. No, I didn't realize it would be quite this immediately intriguing.
Hi, Asbest. I kind of want to. Because the first day, October 4th, 1986. Oh, it's fucking okay. There was like magic and mage and guns and something with a lot of, of women. <laughs> no! Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. I think I have... Put it in compatibility mode for Windows XP. Uh, fine. Fuck, I don't know. Oh, my goddamn life. Why? Uh, how old is this person in the game? I have no fucking idea. Someone must not really want you not to speculate. Fuck. I don't know. Just want to play the video gum. Okay. Okay, we're gonna fucking. Okay, so first off, characters? Oh god, it's so it would be so complex. I fucking wanna play this. God damn it. If anyone can figure out what the fuck's going on here, I appreciate it. Skip! Oh shit, can I not skip the fucking enemy? I made the fucking screen small. Not what I wanted. Okay, I guess I'm gonna look up while it's fucking going. What the fuck do you want me to do? Suddenly, the voice of the question mark. No, technically, just too slowly. Seems to work. Okay, does it happen immediately again? <laughs> no! What do you mean dot OGGs on unrecognized format? What the fuck do you mean? No, that's the answers. Fuck. Rush, do you know what the fuck's going wrong with my life? I don't want to have to install the fucking 
I have a fucking another version, but I was hoping I could use this one. Espest fucking help me, everyone help. Seems to be an issue with the audio files. The f How the fuck can't it read goddamn OGG files? Isn't that like fucking one of the most common file types in the universe? Oh, what? I'm missing the Kodak? The fuck? How am I missing the Kodak for OGG? Uh, fucking let's try something then. I'm gonna fucking download a virus. Is this stream over? No, I'm fucking figuring out how to. F I'm I'm punching the universe trying to figure this shit out right now. Give me a break. Should even doing anything. Oh. Uh. It's a cotton candy stream all over again. I'm fucking gonna break my head open. Uh, okay. Streaming game. Any. Let's try this. Sh oh, fuck. No. Okay, let's try this shit. 54 years. Ignore that. Don't let down like sketchy DD DLLs for a VN. Okay, fine. Oh, it looks so fucking much worse. I can't know that's so fucking shit looking. I love the fucking Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Um fucking see BB put it on screen. Uh, fine. Fucking look at the this. I, I fucking got. Uh, where the fuck is OBS? There you fucking are, my goddamn ass hat. After looks like shit. I'm gonna fucking chill. I looks like look at the fucking difference. I don't even know what the fuck I've got here because it was from years ago. Okay, f difference? Ugh, fuck it. Need to play it. I want to play today, so let's fucking go in. I'll figure out how the fuck I can get this fixed next time. And yes, there'll be a fucking next time. So you see the problem? There's but oh Jesus, crime. Oh, I don't like... This is the Steam version. Yes, I don't... Original? Okay, get cursed. Let's get cursed. <laughs> okay! No voice acting, no nice graphics. It's fucking time to cry. Tell me zoom tier. I mean, yes. Also, fuck, just hurt. Oh, is it?
Is this a different fucking thing? You mean Echo when BB cries? Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is Mary McDowell wearing Justice Grip? <laughs> My wife's like, My graphics, BB, you're reading a fucking VN. I want to experience the fucking best shit. Fuck you. I also like voice acting too because you get the idea what the fuck characters are at least roughly supposed to be like. Trust you, the original art is better than the alternative or the Steam version. Yeah, boy. This is extremely different from the fucking first, first opening we saw. Okay, looks like I can't read Japanese! Oh no, a guy's looking downward. This song so this looks like cheap Tumblr art. Yeah, this whole thing actually is so... Why is there a fucking message in a bottle? Welcome to Roken... Rokenjima. I'm crying. The first day, October 4th, 1986. Oh, it's called Yumi Neko Project, I see. I'm gonna fucking download this tonight and fucking figure out how the fuck this is supposed to work. Whoa! Things sure move with the times. Can't believe we were able to make the trip in just 20 minutes. I couldn't help but scratch my head and marvel at how far things have come in recent years. We used to go by boat. Back then, we were forced to endure nearly half a day of swaying back and forth over the sea before we reached Niji Nijima. Can I save? Yes, I can. What the fuck kind of tip do you get? Why can't I break glass? Oh, the tip is just the fucking actual, like, character things. Okay. This probably gives you... This kind of gives you Shukihimi vibes, probably because it's using the same engine or something. You don't actually hate it. Things have gotten so much more unique these days. No, I've never been on a plane this small. I've flown in a huge jumbo jet before. This will be my first experience with such a tiny one. It's kind of shake, isn't it? They say smaller boats shake more than big ones, so I guess the same rule probably applies to planes. Ah, uh, just spare me. <laughs> Don't you worry, Battlecoon. It shakes much less than the boat did. Yeah? Is that you, George Anaki? Okay, we're going full on with the fucking... Ah, <laughs> uh, shit, this is where my job needs knowledge. Is gonna... My lack of it is going to fucking... Kick me the end. Don't scare me like that. You just shaved three years off my life. Anyway, what's shaking got to do with anything? Hee hee hee, don't you think I'm actually scared of the plane shaking or maybe falling out of the sky or something, right? Oh, of course not, my mistake. I see you've changed a lot since we last saw you. After all, it's been six years since then. You're not a kid anymore. Are you, bitch? No. Why would you say it like that?
features updates, game engines. Of course, uh, after all, it's been six since then. You're not kidding more, haha. There are three sets of camera images, the original ones you're seeing now, the PS3 ones, and you mean Echo Project using the pa Pachinko Machine ones? These are from a Pachinko Machine? Sheesh, and here you are, open up to smoke and drink. I've got no interest in smoking, but I've always wanted to try some booze, heh <laughs> Well, if you got your dad's jeans, I'll bet you can hold down. Oh, uh, fuck you, hold down own when in scripts. I need to drink for businesses rather than pleasure. I usually drink for business rather than pleasure. It's hard to do business in Japan without, without it. And the one consensus on them, the pink Pachinko ones in, are awful. Okay, no, OG's un ironically better. I won't say you're entirely wrong here. There's something kind of fucking weird. They're sharp. That's what I was fucking thinking just now. Their chins. Look at their fucking chins. Holy shit, they can kill people with those. <laughs> Hell, I drink. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's why I never miss a chance to get in some practice. Th That's so good, Battle Kun. You're so minor. I know, I can send the growth of. Um, never mind. Come on, I'm done off already. In fact, it'd be easier to find clothes if I struck a little. I put my chest out proudly. I had my growth through my head was below average in my class. Then I grew and grew, and before I knew it, I'd pass 180 centimeters. Five feet 11 inches, because you're a fucking American. Die. I guess I have all the muscle trending and those shady mail order performance dancing drugs. Thanks for that. What the fuck? Before then, I never dreamed that I'd shoot 10 centimeter above George on a key, who'd reach his height, peak height early on. Damn, I bet my relatives all say, Look how big you go, Battle of Chan, or something. This game. That was so embarrassing. I wish they just gave me a break. Anyway, my name, Battler. Oh, it's pretty damn weird, don't you think? Yes. I gotta wonder what my parents were thinking when they named me that. Or anyone who could read it right the first time. I usually get called Sentokun. Sorry, oh, that's not even close. Oh shit, I'm thinking about to get a Japanese like Oh fuck! I'm getting a Japanese lesson! My name is written. Uh, can you read it? No! The first part is my family name Ushiro Mia. <laughs> that's a fairly plausible Japanese pronunciation so far. Oh, fuck. The problem is my given name. I've... <laughs> also, it seems version translation is considered inferior being too literal. I need to get the fucking other... You mean Echo Project working shit. It's made up of the characters fight in person, and it's pronounced Battler. Put it all together, you got Ushiro, Ushiro Mia Battler. Pretty crazy, right? Crazy enough that my parents decided to call me that, but it's even more crazy that some government worker left to make it official. Both the groups are at the top of my must kill list. Anyway, this is one of my cousins. His name, uh, pronounced Ushi Romia George. That piece of crap of a given name gives you loads of trouble. Uh, he's five years older than me, so he must be turning 23 this year. Since Ushima. Yeah, Ushiro Mia cousins consist of two boys and two girls. I end up playing with George all the time. And because I've always thought of him as a big brother, I still call him Anaki today. Okay, I need to see. Yeah. Woo, Battle Kun, look how big you've gotten. You know what they say? You live with one for three days and you'll hardly recognize him. Oh, female. You must be in the blood. Okay. What? Fuck. Why? What? What the? F Why do you look like you did hard drugs in this one? Kind of normal. I fucking do the hard drugs. Oh. 
Okay. Rudolph wasn't that tall either until his high school years. Perhaps he will end up taller if their growth spurt comes late. Nah, it's nothing special. Real man needs to be tough on the inside too. It's like the 1980s American animation versus the 1980s anime. Exactly! Father Corn here knows how it works! Real men win or lose based on what they've got on the side. Kind of a real to keep up your training and discipline. Gotta do that weight very lightly for the bird moment. And straight! Now, never even imagined that I'd become the company present I am today, master my own domain. domain. Yep, thing I've come this far after starting out penniless and ruined. The stout plump old guy is George Aniki's dad, Uncle Hideo Hideyashi. I, why are you doing this to me? Is this going to be important? He's the husband of Dad's older sister. In other words, we're not blood related. He's a nice surgeon, so spoiled the time, and even quick to give some spending money to his kids. Team Foot, he's an awesome uncle. He speaks an odd and very noticeable Kansai dialect, but he's actually a natural born Kanto man. Well, I guess this voice is good enough for him then. Everything is potentially important, BB. These get Dito's on the tips menu. Are you serious? That nope. Apparently impressions are everything in the business world. Just being a different style than other people is the act that makes him stick out more. However, I hear he gets embarrassed when talking with an earshot of a real Ken Kansai person, so he switches back to standard Japanese. I don't really get it, but he's definitely an interesting person. That's not going to get communicated across, is it? If only you weren't so quick to brag about your life story. That's not for now, I think. I'm sure Battler's getting tired of it. Stick to the JPBB, learn to read. Learn, learn, damn it. That's going to be so fucking hard. <laughs> Aren't you? Nope, not at all. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I think it's pretty cool for a man to have some stories he can brag about. I don't have anything like that at all. Oh, really? I can imagine a man with you. It looks at he goes crying left and right. I can't believe you have nothing at all to brag about. What? You're joking, right? Of course nothing weird like that's ever happened to me. Heck, I wish it would. Nothing worth shit in life is easy. BB, go for it. Do it. They have not choose to use me that <laughs> That's like choosing fucking Monto Monogatari to fucking learn J Japanese clips. That's a fucking horrible choice. You're going to get so confused. Come on, you aren't fooling anyone. Mm-hmm. You must tell your aunt all about it later. After all, nothing of the sort ever happens to George. <laughs> this is George Anaki's mother, Aunt Eva? Eva? She's my dad's older sister. She and Uncle Hideyoshi, Hideyoshi are a pair of jokers, and they've always teased me, back as far as I can remember. This sometimes made me they made them a bit hard to get along with when I was small. Oh, well, I guess the events of the last 30 seconds prove that they can still be hard long hard to get along with. Eva. Like the Anna. Okay. Even so, George Anaki's family's interesting fun, and they seem to get along just fine. Sheesh, that's pretty much the whole office of my family. Adlikun, have you seen Rudolph's son? Huh? He had off to the bathroom a while ago. Is he not back yet? <laughs> Maybe the poor geezer dropped dead and... Namu na namu na 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 Is this supposed to be a fucking way of laughing? Namu na namu na 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 What the fuck? That's some way to talk about your own father. So, this is the first time seeing so long in the bathroom. Yeah, hey, the guy's always been that way. You really have to take it, the magazine with him every time he needs to take a dump. I don't know, what's he doing in there with those particular magazines? <laughs> Check the tips, BB. Son Rudolph in his first place, Asumu. His father married his second wife shortly after Asmu's death. Battle Rebellion wanted to live with his grandparents on his mother's side. However, both grandparents away now has returned to Ushimaru Ushiro Mia family after six years. That encounters his attention to renew his friendship with his cousins after a six-year gap. Ah, oh, you got fucking disowned, essentially. 
Okay. Since we didn't get there, I haven't let him do that on his own. <laughs> oh, I'll have to get the juicy details later. Looks like Dad's got his balls and iron grip. You know exactly what would happen man, with that man if I didn't keep a great that tight grip, don't you? No kidding. Huh, there was something there in the Yumineko project version. Another reason to fucking get that one working. Hold on. Let's fucking just. Okay, Yumineko project. Okay, and just fucking. Okay, I can figure this out quickly. I'll stream longer today if I need to. Why is it fucking Russian? Do I have 7-zip? I better have 7-zip on this fucking PC. Good, I do. Oh, they just come in zip files. I'm actually... fucking update of some kind, so I'm just fucking Imagine not having 7 zip. Imagine being that Mac user. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay, give me a second. You're about to hear hell. The, the amount of bells I'm hearing is fucking cursed. Come on, fuck off. If this works, I'm gonna be so fucking happy. Mato. Load. Damn it, we gotta play this version then. It's still fucking happening, and I need to take the time to fucking re download everything and fucking like redo it. Great! Uh, God, I gonna, I'm gonna hate this shit so fucking much. You're the only one who came over reining in that old bastard. Maybe you hate to break it to me. Don't break anything. Yes, leave it to me. After all, that's my specialty. This woman is my father's wife. Oh, yeah, what the fuck does she look like? What the f <laughs> Torpedo, let's go! <laughs> no, it's best, no, it's coming in for Fuck off. The hell is this? Why is everyone's chins fucking... Weapons of mass destruction. Okay, she can't they kind of have it here too, but it's it saturates so much. Her name is Ishiromiya Kairi. Or Kire? Rudolph's second wife. Oh shit. That don't break anything, don't call adver at some real, don't call anybody, and you to, to be honest, baby, the fuck? What does that mean? As you can probably tell from our conversation, she's not my real mother. This is my stepmother. My real mom died six years ago, and, and Kyrie, Ka Kyrie Sam? Is the woman down married afterwards? Kyrie? Kyrie? It's understandable for someone my age. I can never remember someone called his new wife mom. Now she feels like using the word son on this massive kid who's no relation to her at all. We aren't little kids. No, there's nothing to be gained by fighting. So we decided that we wouldn't force ourselves to pretend that we were family. Huh? 
are there so many fucking Russians in the comments? Decided to act a bit more frank with her, acting as though she's a friendly neighbor instead. It'd be much easier to just keep her distance, keep, instead of forcing ourselves to act all close and making each other uncomfortable. Kyrie san has always been very open about all this, and thanks to that, we've been able to get along pretty well. Kyrie? 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 Oh. TV, you mean Echo isn't going anywhere? You can always try again later when you have the version you want to use set up. TV, ancient Christian memes, don't worry about it. That fucking disturbs me greatly. Then just worry about mouthing dad about being in the bathroom. The man himself came back, wiping his hands with a handkerchief. Holy shit, that smugness. It looks like a mafia boss. Probably not entirely on Tenjo. Hmm, butler. Hey, what's up, dad? But, ow, 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 ow. Don't pinch my ear. Gah! They've been talking trash about me with mom again, haven't you? What makes it so hard to show a little respect for your father, hmm? No, rush. Rush, don't leave me. Ow, 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 ow. Damn it, that hurts. You can my ear all you want, but I'm not going to be able to fly. Oh, that hurts. Come on now. Up, 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 down, down, left, right, left, right. Now say, Father, please forgive me for being so rude. I cow I will. You'll find yourself some members only store if you want that, it that much. Yeah, uh, let go, let go! This old bastard is my dad. So bastard, I think I'm pretty tall. I think I'm pretty tall myself, but that's just about as tall as I am. No surprise on uh Eva started talking about dad's blood when she saw my height. By the way, my height isn't the only thing I got from him. He was having weird names around the family. Dad's phone name is written. I fucking can't. You can't read it, can you? I can't! That's correct, Paddler! I think a pretty cost is the guy whose full portrait has manly proportions. I. Flips, you're not fucking wrong. This man looks like a. T Smell! The mouth caught out. Fuck. Come on, it's just. I can't battle her. Stop! Anyway, this guy's pronounced Rudolph. <laughs> he must say grandfather giving him that name. Dude, that's no reason to pass that weird name tradition on to me. As the old bastard turns my ear all over the place, Aunt Eva, uh, Eva, Eva, snuck up behind him and grabbed his ear. Adler is trying to teach you Japanese, except wrong. What? Hey, Rudolph, you should know better than to physically abuse your son. The hurts on a, on a key. The scene perfectly illustrates the relation between the prankster younger brother, the Yoda sister who you are out punishing him despite his size. I think that's good enough for now. Uh Eva san. Uh, I'll make sure to stretch out his other ear later. Oh, my apologies. Anaki, BB, she's... Isn't that what they fucking said, though? Am I going crazy? Anaki. Anaki. My mistake. Anaki. 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 I'm so sure of this.
Rudolph, make sure Ka Kari san gives you lots and lots of punch later on, okay? No one talk about Aneki. Ane An Aneki? Aneki. Losing your brother like that, I'm going to fucking be the worst human being again. Hiyashi Nissan, I'd like to thank you very much for picking her up. If you hadn't been so generous, she'd still be unsold in the store. You have my graduate apologies. What? Who are you calling me calling unsold? Ah, Neki. After taking two, three steps back. Aunt Eva unleashed one of her beautiful high reverse roundhouse kicks. The fuck? Which stopped just a centimeter away from the tip of Dad's nose. You did this in an airport? The fuck? After starting out with Tai Chi Chun for a figure, Aunt Eva then developed interest in Chinese martial arts. Out of that, she went through karate, taekwondo, capo era, and what is it she's learning now again? Oh, anyway, they say women's weapons are in her lower body, and that's literally true for Eva. Rudolph? I know that single blow to the side of the head like that would knock you unconscious. Rich people, am I right? Is this what rich people are like? Da, 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 da. That's all I know. I actually connected in practice match. My opponent was knocked out cold. Eesh, what a pain. I'm sorry she can't help. Help, boy. Uh, I'm sorry she can't help walking like a freak. Dad, completing a face, shrugged and smiled ironically at Uncle Hide Hideyoshi. Hideo Hideyoshi. Ah, fuck my speakings. Ha ha ha! brother says myself. Oh, when I see you two bickering with each other, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Sure is nice to have a big family. Oh, why not consider making a little brother for, for George Kuhn? Sorry if Fine Oat is about to go off on his own, so it might be a good time to have another child. Hey, hey, have a little sympathy for the new kid. What pain is everything you'd have to live through? I'm surprised doing George Kuhn to know as well as he did after being born from this sinister sister of mine. And what an awesome kid he is. Please share some of the, that with our blockhead of his son Sunday, will you? I said how it all happened. Thanks to Eva, Nis Eva Nissan's proper rearing that George couldn't begin the kind, gentle kid he is now. Isn't that right, Nissan? Oh, come now. Mm -hmm. You think so? Our George still has a long way to go. Ah, by the way, how's your little auntie Chan doing? Heard she was vomiting? Oh, that's right. I was hoping to finally see her face after such a long time. Is she okay? She often catches cold when the seasons change. She's very frail. I did want to bring her along, but we decided to have my family look after her this time. I think that's a wise move. She'll feel a lot better if she stays away from the Venice Head family household. Child's health is always more important than a dose of convenience, don't you think? I know, someone, some great mess of vomit in codes like that. When we get back home, I'll send you some right away, so please let her try it some. Thank you very much, Hideo Oshi Nissan. I'm always in your debt. And once the conversation suddenly veered off in that direction, we kids didn't have any chance of butting in. Are these like real photographs, by the way, of like real places and real people? And just like heavily fucking distorted? But now I'm just happy Aunt Eva uh, gave Dad his just deserves for tugging my ear. I was out waiting for the weather report? If you get back home, you mean. All oh, right, we're taking a fucking plane in 1980s. This cannot end well. George on a key pointed at the counter. The checking weather sign was so stuck next to the departure times of the flight we were scheduled to board. According to Anaki, small planes are more subject to winds and other effects of the weather. And it's not at all uncommon for flights to be delayed because of that. Wait a second, we are totally sure it's not going to shake, right? From down here on the ground, it looks just cloudy, not windy. I guess it's different up there where the planes fly. The weather's a bit uncertain today. Aunt Eva looked at the TV in the lounge. Well, their forecast was being broadcast informing us that a typhoon was approaching the Kanto region? Oh shit, that's bad. Typhoon again. This is no helping it. The annual family conference being held in October. Couldn't he have chosen a better season? Agree. I've always hoped we could have it sometime around the Open Festival in mid-August. No, air travel is still one of the safest forms of travel, BB. In the 1980s? Okay. In that case, why do you suggest that to Father Nissan during the conference? Very funny. Why don't you do it yourself? 
Our brother would never listen to anything I suggested. No way. Oh, look, Evie, a festival will shut the fuck up. Doesn't really bother me that much, Avid, in October. I was just saying you might want to propose since you said you hate typhoons so much. How is it that typhoons only come around this time of year? You're the one who said you wanted to move it to the Open Festival, right? Oh, well, you said it last year, too. Didn't you say that it would be easier to fit into the schedule we had it during the Open Festival? Never said anything like that. Oh, yes, you did. I certainly wouldn't forget something like that. No, I didn't. You're the one saying that all the time. Didn't you know? Simon kicked just a hair's away. Breath from the impact is very high level technique. Eesh, when your age shouldn't be through the legs like that. Dad and Aunt Eva's argument looked over from a couple of brats quarreling. Is that so wrong? Who they usually behave like normal parents? They run right back into kids again when they meet their siblings at these family conferences. You're the one who looks like a real adult, analyzing it all calmly. I hope I never turn out like that old bastard. I don't want to end up as an intellectual adult like you, Anarchy. Like me? Oh, I still have a long way to go! I still have very little experience out there in the real world, and I need to work on becoming more confident and sociable. I think I far so you so far as me and all those counts, Balakun. By the way, is this during the Japanese, like, after the Japanese bubble crashed, or is this sometime after, or I mean before? I'm sure you outshared me fast enough when you came in out. There are, well, there will never be any fucking festivals. George Anaki scratched his head and laughed as though he was trying to hide his embarrassment. Of course, he was just being humble. Anaki entered the university and became an apprentice at Uncle Hideyoshi's company at the same time, studying both academics and how to become a business emperor in parallel. Then, right after graduating, he got into Uncle Hide Hideyoshi's company as his father's aide. Piling up a lot of real life experience, he devoted himself selflessly to his work. It's before, for reference, Brat battled the same age as Kuzuma Kiryu. I that fucking hit me like a train truck. <laughs> Battler's the same age as Kiryu. The fuck? His great dream is to one day stand on his own and build up his own kingdom. Anaki is a real paragon of man, sparing no effort as he strives towards his goal. There's no exaggeration to say that I really respect him. And then there's me. Nothing at all like Anaki. Same birth year. Still fucking hits like a truck. Kyle, I hate... Did you fucking get mind controlled by that shit? Oh, I live a happy go lucky I go high school life to the max. Got no dreams of future. I like to just sit back, stay cool, and let the money flow in. Of course, that could never happen. Nanaki was my age, he already formed an impressive objective and had started devoting himself towards studying for that ghost, so I guess I can't compare at all. Yakuza's era takes place in 1988. Wow. Hydra just says, Sure, you can study at my company if you like cleaning toilets. And I'm not gonna be in the debt of that old bastard. I'll find my, my way myself. Only willpower is all it took to become an adult. If I go on one of those self-searching journeys that all that are all these the rage these days, it's not like I can mooch off my parents back for that kind of money. All right then, Uncle Hideyoshi, Hideyoshi, shout out loudly. He's a really nice person on the whole, but he does have a problem controlling the volume of his voice. When I looked over, I saw that he was greeting Aunt Rosa, but had come late. Oh ho! Reverend Rosa-san! Maria-chan! Long time no see! Uh... Oh, she's a fucking kid. Got it. Uh, it's... The <laughs> okay. I will say this... The pachinko arc does better communicate that this is a kid and not... I don't know, a fucking teen? Long time no see! Ooh! Maria. And 
not bad, actually. Shouldn't it be... That be... It's good to see you again? Your uncle properly. Ooh. It's good to see you again. There. There we go. How sir? How about some candy as a reward? Oh, huh? Where'd I put it? Until I say whether or not she's seven for passing judgment, Mimi. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, the Sam's good to see you again. It's good to see you too, Maria Chan. Yeah, it's been too long here. Harry Nissan, Hideo Shi Nissan. Oh, fuck. Ni, ne, ne, Nissan. And? Oh, my Balakun. Look how big you've gotten. Huh, come on. Also, voice acting will let me hear how to fucking say those parts. Me that. This is why you prefer the PS3 art. It's embarrassing hearing that from every person. Oh, come on! It's embarrassing hearing that from every person I meet. Hey, Rosa. Hey, Rosa. Really? Plane was on time. You barely be I've made it. Oh, I'm sorry. I have some trouble making our train connection. So, are we waiting on the weather again? Oh, don't complain. How much over the 30 minute plane trip to spending six hours bouncing out on a boat? We were kept waiting here for an hour. It'd be much faster overall. Maria Sam's gone in huge, too! So tall, how tall are you now? Mm. So how tall am I now? Maria Chan parroted Uncle Hideyoshi's question, looking up to your mother. I guess she doesn't remember her own height. You have a fucking ex- Nope, not on board yet. She's probably right in the middle of a growth spurt, so her height must change every month. Give a few more years and she suddenly started looking feminine. Um, just how tall were you the last time you got measured? You keep getting bigger and bigger, don't you? Right. Ew. I think she's doing a lot of success here. I see she turned nine years old this year, didn't she? That's... Wow! This art does not communicate nine years old at the slightest. Nine years old! Ew! That's right, you're nine years old now! Glad to see you're doing well too, Maria-chan. Up. Oh, you go... Ooh. I guess her government never to play airplane with you. Sure, Johnny Key. What a rude thing to say to you, lady. Here, I'll do it. Up you go. Ew. And I went to lift her up in Anaki's place. We were just sitting defensively, staring seriously at my face. Ah, that's right. The last time I met Maria was six years ago, and she was only three years old. Of course, she doesn't remember my face. Maria Chen, don't you remember? It's Bathurkun. We used to play together, remember? Maria got fucking robbed in her art. Everyone else looks at least kind of nice enough. There's something so wrong about this one in every way. Ew. No surprise, I guess. Our cuteness gone. There is perhaps a child here. What the fuck is her? That's cute. She's pouting and she got this little crown and like, yeah, this is a Yakuza man. This is a fucking troubled teen. Or a fucking adult cosplaying as a young girl. You don't keep memories of that age. You must know everyone's face apart from mine because you met eats them every year. I had contact with the Ushiro Mina family for about six years now. No surprise a 90 year old girl who doesn't have any memories of me. You and I can only just barely remember her being a three year old crybaby. Maria? This is about. Maria, this is about Oni chan. Who about Nissan? Nissan's son. Understand? The brother's son is... Brother is the son. Eh? Ew! The ew sound was probably your brain going to overload the complicated explanation. I guess the phrasing of that was a bit confusing. Ni or Oni, the title you use to refer to an actual older brother. You can also be a friendly honorific for a boy who's, about a, who's only a little older than you. Just like Ni or Oni, Ne or one. Ne or one. The word for big sister. Maria Chan? This is Balakun. He's her cousin, like me. Like George Oni Chan. Better. Cousin. Ooh. That's right. You got it. This part of Anaki is what makes me really look up to him. For someone who's in Mary's, he's just great at dealing with kids. 
I'm sure he'll be a di uh, indulgent father in the future. He's fucking nine, not four people. I don't know. Badler Onichan. Maria looked straight at me with a questioning expression, though asking whether it's okay to call me that. Yep, that's me, Battler! I was about to say, like, is she actually nine? She is acting more like she's five. So, nice to meet you, Maria. Ew! The fuck is this? Battler! Maria, you mustn't talk to him like that. Calm Battler Onichan. That's all right, Aunt Rosa. I said the small stuff. Hey, Maria! We're close enough that we don't need our reflex, right? Better, better, better! Ew, ew! Her age is decreasing rapidly in my mind. She's learning his mean Romelia, baby. Don't worry about it. That's right, Maria, Maria, Maria! Ooh! We horse around for a while to make up for the six year gap in our friendship. He probably still thinks of me as nothing more than a new big new friend. Things will probably work out as long as we get to get on with each other again. But I'm surprised. It's just the way I remember her being six years ago. That's not good. <laughs> See that people just don't change that much after all. That's. She's. So she's like a three year old. <laughs> Bather, you're saying she's a nine year old who's like a three year old. That's not good. I'm a bit happy that she's still the pure, innocent girl I remember. Her name is written. Why do you do this to me? That's explicitly a problem. <laughs> yes, coward, it is. Of course, Mer is pronounced Maria. Of course it is. Yes, the, the fucking cross there. Fucking... Third character looks like a cross. Oh my god, which is pretty cool. Okay, we acknowledge that. Her feelings don't usually show up on her face, so it can be difficult to know just what she's thinking, but that's just how he looks on the outside. What the fuck are you talking about? This is smug. Smug! On the inside, she's just a sweet, normal girl. Then there's Maria's mother, Aunt Rosa. She's my dad's younger sister. Why the fuck is there this big of a gap between these two? Interested in things considering the code black magic? Thanks to her excellent powers memorization, all kinds of obscure trivia. Okay. Maybe that's not smoke you should know. You're literally addicted to smoke girls. Fine, fine, I'll take it from the smoke up, expert. Rosa is written. Kill me. Wait, do I recognize that one part from fucking translating too much? I think it is. Here's a name that's totally not Japanese. Sorry to say, but her name's almost as ridiculous as dad's. We got respect for not ending up as screwed up as he is. I think about all the names in my family sound foreign. Why is grandfather so obsessed with that? Because of him, even we grandchildren have put up with this weird naming sense. It's even more annoying since grandfather's own name is perfectly normal. Anyway, there's one thing about Aunt Rosa that's a relief for maybe the rest of our family. No bastard Aunt uh, Eva have this annoying urge to tease them out to all the time. But even though she shares their blood, Aunt Rosa isn't like that at all. She has the most common sense among all the siblings. Uncle Hid Hideyoshi. Like Uncle Hid Hideyoshi. She's the kind aunt who's always be who's always be on the kid's side. However, possibly because she's more strict as a parent, she's not as liberal with handing out spanking like Uncle Hideo Hideyoshi. Hideo Hideya. Okay. Now we've had the entire group of family members who are going to board the plane. At that moment, as though there's wait for officers to arrive, announcing ring out throughout the lobby. Our bodies were the light. Morning, we now commence for flight 201 to Niji Nijima. We ask that the passengers please form two lines in front of the counter behind the white line. Rosa, you haven't gone through boarding procedures, right? Hurry up! Oh no. Hurry up, come on! Ew! We had to go through a metal counter before going out on the runway. Our small plane was as massive as the international flight, but it was still plane. The sat member holding metal counter checked us all. Once all of us clear the chip, all the staff members out onto the runway. Come not think of it, everyone here is in the Ishiromiya family. All right, now we're not even going to get to any kind of conflict before the stream ends. Honestly, it might be the case, which means I really want to stream this game again then. 
is like, what's the point of doing this if we don't get to something interesting, more interesting? I roof up in front of the entrance to the airplane. Then the guy turned around and he spoke. Look at you, passenger list says you did so. Boarding will now commence. As I call the names on the passenger list, please take your seats in the order, starting from the front row to the right side and going right to left, then on to the next row. Maybe that's what you said when you played as WR. Look how that turned out. I mean, I need to stop playing really fucking long games on this channel and play some shorter shit that I can get done in like five streams. I will now begin reading the passenger list. Ishiro Mia Hideyoshi Sama. Oh, I'm first. Right here. By the way, do you have any? Some candy? Eva? I'm learning all over somebody, I can't find any. You mean Echo is not the choice then, BB, but it looks so fucking interesting to do for this channel! You see, wrong me at Eva Sama. Get my hand back. I can't walk much for inside the plane. You give me a bunch of yeast games that are all less than four hours each? But I'm shit at that! I've heard that the candy is a good way to protect your ears from because of variations in atmospheric pressure when landing or taking off. That's probably what they're talking about. Oh, I want to get a window seat. <laughs> Don't worry. There aren't any other kinds of seats. You mean Echo can easily run five streams per chapter? Jesus Christ. Are you saying five two-hour streams? If so, that's fucking eight. Oh, God. As George Aniki said, they were preparing only two lines of seats. This is what a small plane is like. We are totally sure it's not going to shake, right? Ishiguro Mia George-sama. Right here? Don't worry, battler -kun. Won't shake too much. Ishiguro Mia Battler-sama. Ah, uh, Aniki, -uh, what do you mean by not too much? You can just swim if you fall from a boat, but if a plane, plane crashes, you're screwed, right? We got our own parachutes on our seats, don't we? Wait, we don't? You should roll me a Rudolph Sama. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Stop saying there's luck joy to get in. Ow, oh, Dad! Don't push me! I don't get parachutes! You should roll me a Kire Sama. Kare Sama. Okay, you stop fooling around. Let's move on in. Oh, Kire. Kare. Don't push me! This blockhead isn't moving! You should roll me a Maria Sama. Ew! Let's move on in! You should roll me a Rosa Sama. Maria, be quiet. This is Pilot Kawabata. We'd like to thank you for taking new Tokyo Aviation Flight 201 today. We estimate that the flight to Nijima Airport will take around 20 minutes. Here are receiving reports of atmospheric turbulence. There may be some shaking on the aircraft, so we ask that you not unfasten your seatbelts after takeoff. Uh, Araki, did I say we need to wear seatbelts? Just checked and it's closer to the trails. Oh, fuck. Now, John will that they undo them and after takeoff, right? Just gonna shake so much we can't take them off? Yeah, you tricked me. It is going to shake after all. Where are the parachutes? Maybe we should have taken the boat. The Legend of the Golden Witch. You see little Mia Battler. This feels so fucking weird because these are just real blurry pictures. So is anyone going to be in the story who isn't a Ushiro Mia? Wait, we're getting a lot of names here. Kenji. 
Saying anything would be a spoiler, BB. Understandable. Is this a visual novel, or is there some gameplay that either you missed or has yet to come up? This is a kinetic novel, which is less interactive than a visual novel. If you can believe that. Ooh. The fuck? <laughs> I always fucking confuse the shit for a good reason. Should have taken the boat. The boat. Ah! Ah! Ew, 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 ew. Ew. Maria, that's enough. Oh, what a surprise. I thought there was nothing that could scare Palakun. You are gonna have handle vehicles for some reason. Oh, he's always about falling and sinking and stuff. You're a disgrace of man, you are. Ah, oh, shut up! That thing was seriously shaking way too much. I got a little stressed since it was my first time on a small plane like that. Oh, that a little stress? <laughs> That'll take me fun taking an overseas vacation with you, Balakun. You like to go to Egypt with your aunt? You get to ride a plane for a full 14 hours. <laughs> That's a good plan. Balakun, you should go. Let's. You should let Eva sign. Even Nissan, Nissan, help me up some. Yep, you're out. Check y'all on Thursday. Take care. Have a nice night, Kyle. Ha 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 ha! Now, now, everyone's got their own strong and weak points. It's bad to laugh at them. Ha 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 ha! D Dad, you're laughing too. Hey, Maria Chan, you shouldn't laugh anymore. Shouldn't laugh anymore? Ew! Thinks your plane truly such a big deal. I don't know if he thinks I'm big oaf now. Ah. Slid up and took separate taxis to the airport to the harbor. From there on, we'd be taking a boat to the island. Islands are right next to each other, so the chance of distance of the trip wasn't that great. You're going to get back to chat before, so you see us later. Okay, see ya, Rush! By boat, it was literally 30 minutes to the island. When we reached the pier where the boat to the island was anchored, we saw a figure waving at us. George Nissan! It's been so freaking long! Ah, Jessica's hand, it's been a year since I saw you! Uh, you got a little dog again, haven't you? I feel like there's something weird. Yeah, that's the, yeah. No, most of the female characters look like they're fucking cup sizes. Yeah, like I, I increased by fucking massive amount. It's so strange. Yeah, don't give me that. It's embarrassing when you say it every year. Hey, hey Anaki, you gotta be kidding me. Is that really Jessica? Well, wait a sec, George. Is this big guy Battler? Both stared at each other. They only didn't look like that in my memories, but I remember a crazy way of talking. Yo, Jessica! What's this now? You're kidding me, you look like a woman now! What are those, boobs? Even you managed to get a chest! <laughs> let me rub them, let me... Don't screw around with me, I'm a blushing flower of 18! Of course my hair grew long and I got these! What, you think I got boobs just to get fondled by you, loser? What the f... Adler, rather the fuck! Speaking of you, you sure you got over the years, but you got a bit stronger too. Don't screw me, I'll show you how much training I've done since back then. You're pissing me off. I'll be your you at your own game. This is wrong girl's name is Stop! She was born under the same mom like stars and he's sharing the same kind of weird name. What? Fucking weird Anyway, blah, it's pronounced Jessica. She's dad's older sis older she's dad's older brother's daughter. That her brother happens to be the oldest son of the you see the Romia family? So for now, I mean, Jessica is the direct family heir. And Jessica and I are the same age, and sometimes we had little boy-girl squabbles with each other. We've always been used to fighting and joking around together whenever the relative relatives gather. This grew up more quickly, so she beat me in terms of size and physical strength. 
When we scuffled in a contest of strength, it usually went Jessica's way. So even though I realized I'd grown bigger, part of my mind was so convinced that I couldn't beat Jessica. What? Whoa! What the? Wait, you're getting a serious from... Ow, 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 ow! Hey, this is nothing! This has gotten weak! Sh shut up! I'm a girl! Of course I couldn't beat a guy with physical strength forever, right? Well, you've got a point there. Uh, the meat I put on my arms all went to your chest. It looks like it'll be fit, pretty even test of strength in my arms and your boobs, don't you think? Tony, my boobs are for you to fill up! Baby? Yes. Yes, what is it? Besides, how about you, your cute elf elephant son? Get a bigger. Be bigger to go with the rest of you? What the fuck? Stop it, idiot! No, you perv! Be ruined for marriage! Don't touch my crotch! Don't say stuff people are gonna misinterpret! Honestly, I was super surprised how feminine Jessica had become that I had to joke around like an idiot to hide it. Well, considering what a bossy brat she was six years ago, anyone would be surprised. I guess she's just as surprised. Probably wasn't expecting to lose me in a test of strength. Not losing that easily makes me shocked by how much I've grown in the past six years. Six years? He's gonna be shown just what a huge gap of time that was. Crap, total defeat. I have no match for you anymore. That's not true. Even Balakin must have his weaknesses. Right, Maria Chan? Ew! Pa, pa! Shh, cut it out, Maria. Let's keep that out of secret, okay? Aww. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, there's no chance you can see the weakness of mine now. That brought that nightmare playing trip is already over and done with. Bather, you fucking idiot. Only thing left is that nice quiet slashing the boat ride. I never thought I'd start loving that piece of junk boat this much. Hee hee hee. Huh? Georgie san, is there some. Nah, san. Georgie san, is there something wrong with his head? You don't understand soon enough. Very soon. At the time I didn't get what Anaki meant by that big smile. Now we're here. Oh! Follow us on how big you've gone. Who's it this time? It's an old lady with an apron. Uh oh, yeah, that takes me back. Remember now? Remember her, right? It's Kumasawa san, the servant. I could never forget you, Kumasawa, Kumasawa Bachan. After all, you had an age a bit in these past six years. If anything, I'd say you're looking younger than ever. Oh, ho, ho. Lately, my skin's been getting quite smooth and silky. Look, my chest has gone, has my chest gone bigger as well. Maybe you like it a little feel. Y you're kidding, right? My breasts fall and shortly learn to bouncy girl. Oh, I was quite bouncy in my youth. Let me shy find your heart's content. Yeah, give me a break. How many fucking perverts are here? Holy shit. It's girl girls I'm looking for. Not grannies. The jokes I cried about just here were being turned against me. Come think of it. Kumasawa has always been the type to tease people. Uma Kumasawa san, stop that now. People with one foot in the coffin shouldn't jump around. This one was young. It's the most rejuvenating medicine. Oh. <coughs> Trevor, you come pick us up? Kumasawa san. I wonder what's gone into you. Oh shit. Everything's dropping. Usually, you, your lumbago kicks in whenever someone gives you a job to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, Iwasama, you're as harsh as ever. I found myself with an urgent purse to make, and while I was at it, I thought I would come welcome you all. <laughs> it does give a good, bad impression of one waiting to greet you as an elder cry woman. Oh, 
Uh, he was supposed to sarcastically, but Kumasawa Bachan's years of experience, so nothing sneeze at. She was more than capable of smoothly and coolly deflecting their back comments. Well, if he was about to say it, but old Kumasawa, ba Kumasawa Bachan may be past her prime as a servant. She might act as though she's in good health, but between the headaches and her lumbago, what the fuck does that mean? Her body's wearing out. To hear the truth, the very fact that she's still working is impressive. How old is she this year again? She must be pushing 80 at least. I'm proud that she's still able to act so cheerful. You just seem to be get, get more and more lively. That's right, here you are. It's a tea I told you about before. Okay, I bought you some. Please do try it on later. And Rosa, oh, sorry. I guess I was, it's kind of sometimes hard to tell who's talking, honestly. Actually, can I? No, it doesn't even help. I think that she remembered a promise she apparently made last year and faithfully brought. Sort of thoughtfulness was just like Aunt Rosa. She wasn't the kind of person who would forget or break a promise. Kumasawa Bachan seemed deeply touched. Not only that, Aunt Rosa remembered this hero promise that she would bring a gift to a simple servant like her. This woman is Kumasawa Chiyo-san. She's a senior servant who's been working at the Ushiromiya Head Family Household for many years. Oh, yes. Hmm. I think she's the age range of the from strong point, but she's about she's the kind of super servant you can handle just about anything else, from kitchen work to cleaning and laundry. Seems like her her only flaw is a tendency to slack off. I guess she tries to get away from heavy or troublesome work by playing up her chronic disease. In Kumasawa Bachram's case, this was probably a sign of craftiness rather than laziness. It probably doesn't impress those paying her salary. Ah well, if she's pretty flacky when it comes to work, I can never dislike her. I guess that's probably because of her cheerfulness and her constant smile. Wow, I'm glad to see you're in fine spirits! How's the back doing, then? You know, the medicine's not getting one whit better. With the doctor, nothing can be done with this one. It's what you might call an incurable disease. Ho ho ho! Flacky? I don't know. Anyway, Jessica Chan just keeps getting prettier. Good thing she takes after Netsuhi Nissan. Nissan. Uh, really? You see, I don't think we all look at all like. I mean, I don't even want to be like my parents. Had zero respect for him. Oh, you shouldn't say such things. Hmm? So there are quite a few people who don't want to be like their parents or in our family. Ah, that's me. Sure as hell better not to you after me. Your nose is looking like mine already pissing me off. What are you talking about? You're surprisingly like you and father. Oh, come on. Now nah, you can't be you can't be serious. Is that more like my dad? A lot like you makes such sound arrogant prideful you are. Let us you strong in you, Nissan. Let me say so, Rosa. Oh, absolutely. Cross Nissan and Rudolph Nissan are almost unbelievably like that. All right, all right, already. Why am I the only one under fire from the girls? Fuck. Shut up. Oh, God.
Okay, there we go. Hiyoshi Nissan, give me a hand, please. My, my, Rudolph Kuhn. You always don't bother with the ladies. Yo, I'm jealous. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. That's just a to make me jealous. Well then, everyone, shall we head over to the boat? Come on now, Maria Sam. Let's get on the boat together. Get on the boat together! Ew! Everyone gets on together! Ew! Why is she? A, does she fucking have a fucking problem? It's like a four-year-old. Hell yeah! This time around, I'm not gonna be scared. I'm used to being shaken by the waves. With that piece of junk fishing boat, I'm less afraid of the shaking the engine break down, the boat drifting off. Oh, yes, Bobby Goon, I forgot to tell you. I think the boat was completely worn out, so it was taken out of commission years back. Now I get to take the guy on a different boat. Oh, right. Well, that's first time in the new boat? It's super comfy. And freaking fast. You got crazy high speeds. Uh, oh. That means less travel time, right? That sounds great. Don't worry about seeing me. It's less scary than me on a plane. Uh, but it should be awesome to get over with it as quick as possible. Ew. Is Bobby going to fall, fall again? It's only on airfield lanes. Everything's fine now. Anyways, the captain's trying to enjoy a kind of modern high speed boat. Seems like he's uh, pretty souped up. He's bragging about how he attached four ace high fishing propellers to make it break for not just something like that. He talks about it all the time, so we can start to memorize his wheel. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to memorize too, so we hear about it every year. I have to say he's given me a testimony ever since he lost his speed on us with a foreign boat ages ago. Very him that a boat managed to break 30 knots with just a fishing boat. And is there a revenge for a revenge match? Gonna build an awesome on new super high speed mighty boat. I'm sure you love it, Ballard. Super high speed mighty boat? The first thought was that this would be much better than some beat up boat that might sink at any moment. For some reason, I got this feeling of foreboding. Probably just overthinking it. Hey, Bella, maybe you should just swim to the island. Ah, they couldn't. You shouldn't be leaning over the railing too much. I fall. Ew, ew! Ah, fall! Ah, man! This is why you walk running back there! As if this is the right people that the captain started modding. Oh, yeah, it's that being a junk fishing boat for zero doesn't know what to carry with this guy. Whoa, it's shaking, it's shaking, it's shaking, it's shaking! It's gonna fall, fall, fall! Gonna fall, fall, fall! I fall on the ocean drown. Where's the parachute? I mean, where's the boy? Give me a life jacket! Ha 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 ha! what the heck are you doing that for? Ha 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 Who the fuck's talking? Jessica Chan? Maria Chan's on nice to tease. Who the fuck's talking? Bella, couldn't you scared? Then just will come out under the deck. I think we can calm down a bit if we go inside the boat. <laughs> That's a no thank you, Anarchy. Shipwreck victims always want to inside the boat. Oh, that was not. The survivors are usually those on the deck during the accidents. I'm saying right here. And it's shaking. I'm going to fall. Whoa. Shake. Going to fall. <laughs> Oh, Rhea, I told you to behave yourself. The valley couldn't look so you really can't handle it. I'll just go to the cab and just slow down for you. Oh, Eros, thank you! Don't you know that safe slow driving is only way to go, even on the sea? <laughs> Don't you do that, Rosa. How your relations are important for young men. Is that right, Balakun? You better be able to become a low salt scare like this. I thought you were ready to go to Egypt with your aunt. Whoa, Aunt Eva, you're so mean! Oh no, I'm gonna fall! 
I'm checking parachute. Whoa! Why is Badler? Bad Badler's like fucking. How fucking old is Badler again? It doesn't actually say, but he's like. Must be like at least five years. Yeah, no, he's 18. Why is he acting like he's a fucking like teen, like a young teen? What? Wait, uh, gotta spin around and think that way. What's the Amy, Amy for? Is she doing this to scary? That's what Amy for. Too bad, like how am I scared? Love the ball. So after I made you scream myself for a while, what is this game? I don't quite have an answer, Harry. I know, baby. Why do you act like a little girl when bugs come out? I have a phobia. Does he have a phobia of fucking automobiles and shit? Aunt Rosa had a talk with the boat captain, and he slowed down to more manual speed for me. Ah, that's a bit better. I was gonna die earlier. And the max speed I can tolerate is extremely slow. That just now is completely insane. Oh, Bo is shaking, gliding and leaving on the ocean surface. I felt like I was riding in the back of a flying fish. There's been still guffling at me as a guffing at me as I leaned against the railing, hard and disheartened. Lost in the strength house early, but I'm glad to see that I'm no worse where it really counts. But she'll see. <laughs> you suck, Balor. Shut up. Well, these days I'm gonna fight your windows and back at you, and then your boobs will be mine to squish. Balor, stop. Make sure. Uh, what the fuck is your late? Yeah, I yeah, know you're related. Okay, good. Just double checking. Stop, Balor. No. No cuts some fucking. <laughs> Yeah, sure, good luck with that. Wahahaha. Ew. Balor, all week. Yeah, Balor, all week. What do I land on the ocean or the sky? Why does he look like a mob boss? It's the hand. It's the fact that he's hiding one of his hands that makes him look a bit more like a mob boss. No, is patting back, so I pat her head and return. The question is blank as usual, but I realize that she wanted to console me. Oh, I can the captain's throwing in drinks to make up for this. You like when to calm yourself down? George Anaki and Kumasawa Bachan brought us all ice cold cans of salt drinks. Go with beads of water. Doesn't even Kumasawa sans big grin. Our parents inside the boat were probably all rolling me laughing at my moment of pure terror. Damn it, I'm so embarrassed I can't bear to face any of them. I didn't change the subject now. I had the feeling I'd be the butt of everyone's joke for the whole trip. So I tried to think of something harmless to talk about. Where's this book of vengeance? I, I, we'll write, we'll ha help him write it down later. Hey, Jessica. How do I go cross him and uh, not to be doing? My old man and my mom. Aren't you there fine? Oh, every other word out of their mouths is study, study, which pisses me off. I'm so jealous it doesn't look ugly Hideo Hideyoshi. I don't go to Rudolph say stuff like that. <laughs> oh, no. Where are my exams? My parents kept pressing me about it over and over again. That was annoying then, but now I'm grateful. Ha! I knew it. Here you are, awesome, Monarchy. Anyway, have a look. I have to look after myself. What does me what to do? Oh, it's not like I'd listen to it if they did. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, Sandy has yeah, not to go to your parents' home. I'll kind of go back down then. Got lots of clothes and stuff left at the house that I was living in until recently. Father has two houses? Uh, 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 something like that. Why? Why do you have two houses? Ooh, ooh. Only Mirror, who couldn't really grasp the situation, voiced his naive question. However, the others just shot nervous glances at me. She not to respond even though they knew the answer. Maria! Look, you can see the harbor now. Look over there. Can you see it? Ooh! Saw the harbor! Saw the harbor! Apparently, Jessica was trying to be nice by changing the subject. Ah, oh, well. 
I'll not talk about it if I can help it, but it's uncomfortable to have a tree like some kind of weird taboo. I don't mind it that much myself anymore. And then we remember the Ushiro Mia family. The truth is, as the last six years, I've been living with my grandparents on my late mother's side. I've even been using her family name. When those grandparents passed away, one after the other, there's no choice but to go back and live with the old bastard. Don't get me wrong, I didn't just run away from home or anything like that. The only one I fought here is my dad. I can't really blame Kai uh, Kyrie san Being able to hold that old bastard reins and ride him out is no mean feat. You know, the way that old bastard betrayed my mom. Unfortunately, stuff we've only gone over that. Ahem! We'll be getting there soon! George on the King Killer's low trying to change the subject. Please beg for my forgive me my discretion. This old woman has said too much already. If I have hurt your feelings. <laughs> oh why did no and no one's feelings are hurt. Don't worry, Kumasawa Bachan. Kumasawa san seemed to regret speaking out of turn. I was more concerned about being worried over for something like that. I stood up and passed it off lightly. After that, I had to sip my drink and head over to Maria and Jessica, who were gazing at the silhouette of the island. Ew! Father! I saw the island! Saw the island! There! 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 Ew! 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 Where is... Ah, I see it now. I mean, after six years, the island hasn't changed a bit. The small islands to the west in front of us have gotten pretty close. The island's name is Rokenjima. Rokenjima. A small island about 10 kilometers around, located in the Izu Archipelago. They call this archipelago the Izu 7. Lots of people think there are only 7 islands, but that's not true. There's actually several more, and Ro Rokken... Roken... Rokenjima is one of the minor islands that doesn't get counted. If that were the case, I'd have to find many who knew about this island. Only people connected to the Ishiguro Mia family ever go there. In other words, outsiders and tourists never have any reason to care about it. So you never find this island's name in a travel brochure. After all, all Rokenjima is an estate possessed by the Ishiguro Mia family head. Only the Ishiguro Mia family lives there, and only people connected to Ishu. You see little me a family come and go to there and from here. There's nothing there except a harbor and a mansion. The vast majority of the island is still un just uncultivated forest. It's a waste when it can be made a nice golf course or something. Golf courses are a waste. Everyone realizes that the entire coastline is a private beach. It starts out and pretty magnificent. You probably guessed it by now, but who is simply? Well, the Ushiro Mia family just rolling it though. Ed family apparently possesses a vast fortune. And dad and the others who make up the branch families have built up plenty of wealth for themselves, finding success in their respective businesses. I've been living in commerce life for my grandparents for only six years. They completely forgotten. But that old bastard's house really is elegant, and everything about it is tuned to match the snobbish taste of the annoying rich. I think that I guess that makes George Anaki, Jessica, and Maria me wealthy, high class gentlemen and ladies. At least say none of us think of ourselves that way at all. I don't see myself as being rich, and Jordan on the queue takes self discipline very seriously. He doesn't let himself get too comfortable. This kid is always complaining how she'd rather move to the city than be rich. Maria is still a kid who isn't even interested in money at all. Does that actually make us any less snobbish? From the perspective of people in poverty who can't pay the bills, we really have been blessed with a lot. This isn't a place to explain any further, so I won't. Anyway, it's the same as not being able to choose the parents you're born from. I didn't ask to be born from a, into a rich family. I don't think it's really something to be envied. It'd be pretty tiring when people are pre prejudiced against you just because you're rich and refuse to judge you by your merits. As I pondered these sentimental thoughts, Maria started shouting and leaned over the rail. Ew! Come on. What's wrong, Maria? Did you drop something? Ew, ew! Mary kept laying, yelling, gone, gone. It sounded as though she had dropped something, but while she shouted, she also pointed out over the ocean. What's wrong? What's gone? Oh, look out. For two, if you want. What is it? If she dropped something, she probably would have looked down on the floor. Maru is pointing at, out over the ocean. I would assume by the judges that she had spotted something, but she kept saying that something wasn't there. Strange. 
ever since my last memories of this game was six years ago, I was a spy for Anaki who comes here every year. Today. She keeps regressing. She is fucking becoming a. I, I'm sorry. Is she autistic? <laughs> I feel like that's really mean to say now, but she's a nine-year-old who's acting so much fucking younger. Huh? If I remember correctly, wasn't there a Tori or something on top of the small crag around here? Probably was definitely there. I remember well since we get closer to the island, it's first thing to greet us like a landmark. Wow, you're amazing, Valor. Even though it's been six years, remember? It was here, wasn't it? I remember, too. That tutelary's got shrine that Tori like thing we're standing all alone on that crag. Now that you mention it, they're gone, aren't they? I'm sure they were still here last year. Gone! Gone! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Maybe they washed away by the waves or something. The small cracks, they probably got worn away over time. Well, that's my theory, too. I thought some of that had disappeared. But they say... They say an enormous lightning bolt came crashing down one evening. It's just the shrine. The fisherman just whispered that having a thunderbolt fall on our honored tutelary. That must be a port... ...and of approaching misfortune. Kuwaba bara, kuwaba bara. Cool. Kumas, what that? Kumasawa-san smiled impishly as if teasing us, rubbing her hands together while intoning a Japanese phrase meant to war off lightning. However, Maria apparently took this seriously and stared fixedly over the ocean to where the crag housing the shrine god was supposed to be. A portion of misfortune. Ew. Enough, Kumasawa-san. Maria isn't old enough to get that kind of joke. Okay, Maria Chan. Ch Chan? Just a coincidence. Nothing scary is gonna happen. George Anaki put a hand on Maria's shoulder, calm her down, but Maria's shy right expression didn't waver. Misfortune. Misfortune. Maria muttered that word over and over. Only repeating a single word over and over is a habit that Maria's had for a long time. That's. Every. Autistic, okay. However, since words you sang was Larry and Neil Omen, it was a bit creepy. Hey now, Maria. We index now? Yes. Say it over and over like that. Misfortune will really end up happening, you know? I tapped Maria's other shoulder. Maria whipped her head around, stared in my face, and spoke unblinkingly. Ew! Misfortune is coming! Hmm. Well, I'm uncomfortable. Huh? Hinges, where is it coming from? Angela Light Harley trying to break the tension in the air. At that moment, Maria held up a finger, raised her arm high, and pointed up to the heavens. When I looked up, I saw the sky was still just as cloudy, but it had grown a great deal more leaden than it had been that morning. Right, they were saying that a typhoon was approaching. We had planned to spend one night on the island, but if this storm doesn't pass quickly, I won't be able to make it to school on Monday. Oh, well, I guess it makes for a pretty good excuse to be absent. Ew. Apparently, he sensed some kind of misfortune in the cloudy sky. I've been that non stop for a while now. Here's Marie's end to be very impressionable. She's just about that age that many girls start to get excited about six senses. Or they have any psychic potential and stuff. Well, we know this might be due to her childish, sensitive nature. It's okay, Maria Chen. Weather might get worse tonight, but tomorrow it'll clear up and become a pretty blue sky. Ew. Pretty blue sky. Ew. That's right, by tomorrow it'll be a pretty blue sky. There's no rain that doesn't end and no clouds that never clear. Ew. Rain that doesn't end. Clouds that never clear. Ew. The typhoon's coming, but soon it'll go away. We will be okay, Maria. Maria started yelling, ooh, ooh. It's so she was having a tantrum because no one could understand what she was trying to say. On the road is Maria so desperately trying to warn us about. When I to understand her, we couldn't help but feel a vague sense of misfortune. Not that everyone can feel the supernatural, but that it weakens as you age. Why is she nearly as tall as Simmons? She's nine? Why? You don't want it to be like this? I mean, this makes more sense for her age, but still. That might mean that Maria, the youngest one of us all, still possesses some kind of sense that the rest of us had lost. 
I wonder if that's sending us her a warning. The battler is clearly a man lady who lied about being tall, clearly. And everyone's just playing along with it. At that moment, Umasawa san finally opened her mouth. Mirror has it. How long ago Rokinjima was? Kumasawa san? Let's not talk about it now. This is Kumasawa san was about to tell some kind of joke story just to sharply interrupt her. He looks like a teenager? He very much does. I think his tone was extremely firm for her. I wanted to push her further just out of simple curiosity. Judging by the look on Jessica's face, whatever Kumasawa Bachan was like to say would probably make Maria even more uneasy. They try to press her for the story. The odds were pretty good that it wouldn't be anything bright and scary. Oh, I do apologize for that. The wind here is hard for there for the outer east, so you would excuse me for now. That's where it's done no reason to hang around after they've been told to stop chatting. When Kumasawa san finally realized that she'd be always ever bound, she went back inside the boat. After she left, Uncle Hideo Hideyoshi showed up in her place. Cindy arrived mid conversation, he completely failed to notice the complicated atmosphere that hung over the scene. So he refreshingly and wittingly swept that atmosphere aside. In the end, it was his lack of tact that brightened the mood. Looks like we're almost there! Okay, just a little bit more! Took forever with the street we went today, didn't it? I don't know whose fault that was! Wahahaha! <laughs> oh, Uncle Hiyoshi, give me a break already! <laughs> don't. Come on, don't stop there! Seriously, thanks to Ballard, you're taking forever! <laughs> Mary probably thought that everyone was using to listen to her. Younger head wearing a fretful expression. As she did, George Oniki crouched down to meet her eyes and spoke to her kindly. Maria chan! Nothing to be afraid of, because we're all together. There's nothing to be afraid of if we're together. Go ahead and say it. Ew. There's nothing to be afraid of if we're together. Yeah. There's nothing to be afraid of if we're with each other. Ew. That's right, exactly what George Oniki said. We say together, there'll not be anything at all to be afraid of. Right, Jessica? <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. But Georgie Sen says it's always true, Maria. Aww. Georgie Sen, Oni Chan, always true. Yes, don't lie. But trust me, don't they be afraid of we're all together. Ew. George Oni Chan doesn't lie. I trust you. Don't they be afraid of if we're all together. Ew, not afraid. Maria jumped up into George Oniki's arms and hugged him tightly. After Oniki patted her head, she jumped away again. Her facial expression had gone a 180 degree turn, turning back to normal. Once again, back to the ordinary Maria. Ew! There's nothing to be afraid of anymore, because we're together! Ew, ew! Yeah, that's it! Look all better now. You're strong, and that's awesome! Ew! I'm awesome! Right now, what's going on here? We're examining it season, did she? Huh? Haha, <laughs> uh, something like that. We'll be arriving soon. Barbara's already drawing near. Once we arrive in the harbor, we're ending. Oh shit. When they cry three. The fuck do you mean three? No, no, you have to answer. Why is there a three at the end there? Wait, what? You thought this was two. I don't fucking know what this is anymore. This seems so banal for the opening. It does. I'm curious. I want to kind. Of, I want to play this next week for the sole reason that I'm like, I want to see this fucking. I want to see what. I want to see what this shit's like when hit, shit hits the wall. Like I really want to know what it's like when shit hits the wall. Hmm. Anyway, you thought this was two and Higurashi was one. I'm not sure myself. We'll find out later. Anyway, 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 anyway. This is all built up so far. Yeah. Decent sense of slow burn. Yeah, decent sense of dread right now. So I am interested where this goes. Yeah, but it's boring, says Carrie. 
I'm not entirely disagreeing. But it is, a, yeah, as it's a slow burn, it's a VN. I'm curious where it's going to go, and once it picks up, how good it's going to get. Uh, but I'm going to fucking be downloading the better version and getting it working, because fuck, I want to play that better version, and hopefully it doesn't crash. And I guess maybe we'll do this again next week? Maybe a bit earlier, starting at maybe 8 o'clock or something? That way we can see what happens? Yeah, 8 o'clock, probably fine enough. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Thank you all again for coming to today's live stream. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be up tomorrow at 8 a.m. Uh, and Tuesday for some Super Rebel Wars 30. Oh, hope you get you mean Echo Project working next time. Yeah. So until next time, until next time, I'm going to get up close. I'm going to get quiet. I'm going to tell everyone. Bye.